Hello everyone, welcome to the Twinner tutorial. In this video, we will discuss about how you can request an iOS build so that you can upload that build to your App Store account. When you will request an iOS build, there are certain things that you will need to fill up. The one of the important thing is, if you go to the branding, then make sure that you have the iOS bundle ID entered here. And also make sure that you have iOS bundle ID created under your App Store account. If not, we already have a separate video for that, that you have, you can create your iOS bundle ID, please take, please. Now let's go to the app build again and then go to the iOS section and make sure that you have the signing information filled up and all the things are correct here. And if you still not generated all the signing information, we do have another video tutorial for that as well. Please go and watch it and the link is available in the video description below. Now, if all the things are completed, right, uh, we need to make sure that we also click the publish to production button. Okay, so for example, if we did not do that yet, and you will, you will try to request a new build, then it will display an error for you like this, that your latest configuration is currently not published for the production. Okay, so what does this error means that it says that now you are ready to release your application for your production user. So, you also need to mention from here that you want to publish or all the changes to the production. So to do that, go to the screens menu and click on publish to production button and click on add, done. After doing this, you go to the app build again, iOS and under the build history, request a new build. And it will give you a confirmation pop-up here saying that please make sure that you have all the information verified and then click on the confirm. As soon as you will confirm, it will start preparing a build for you. And once the build will be available, it will be displaying uh, one IPL link here that you can download. So if I go to one of my application where I do have that link available, then under the build history, the IPA link will look like this. You can just click on it and download the IPA file. This IPF file is a production ready file that you can directly upload to your App Store account. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.